Hello and welcome to this short video of actual funnel kit demonstration. So in this video, I'm going to show you what exactly you are going to be promoting. Now, over the last few months, we've been working very hard on funnel kit and actually we're still working on it. You know, this very second that I'm talking, you know, that I'm talking with you, we're still working with the de developer team to actually make funnel kit even better. Now we're just implementing a lot of new functions because we have well over 20 beta testers on board that are, you know, testing every single feature of funnel kit so everything works flawlessly and you know, we are bringing the top-notch product for you to promote for your customers. Now, before we begin, I just want to say that since we are doing a lot of implementations, a lot of changes to the plugin, you may not see, you know, I'm not giving you the most up-to-date version here, you know, I'm not showing the most, most up-to-date version, but I'm going to go over the main functions of FunnelKit so you get the idea how it works. But, you know, before the launch, we're going to implement so many new changes, so many new features. Um, we're just getting a lot of feedback from our beta testers and, you know, we're just, uh, you know, implementing new things every single day. So, I cannot make a video about funnel kit every single day, but you know, hopefully you will get an idea about what this is. And you know, if you want to test it out for yourself, uh, just shoot me, shoot me an email or Skype message or Facebook message, and I'm going to give you a GV access so you can you know, check it out for yourself. But keep in mind that you know, we're changing a lot of things here. So, you know, let's begin. As you can see, we have a simple uh, yet very friendly, user-friendly interface. Now, everything is divided into six steps to actually, you know, create killer squeeze pages. Now, even, uh, you know, we have tried, we have beta testers that uh, haven't used WordPress and haven't used any other plugins ever before, not to mention they haven't created a single, uh, you know, they haven't created a single lead capture page or sales page before. But, you know, with FunnelKit, uh, they were able to create, you know, stunning looking pages in a matter of minutes. So, as you can see, first step is we need to select the page background. Now, if you know my previous plugin, GeoOptin, uh, basically it uses Google, you know, Google Maps as the background image. And you can either use a specific point, for example, if you want to target, you know, if you want to display Las Vegas in the background, you can do that. Or if you can, if you want to show dynamic location, that means that you know when a visitor comes from a specific town, for example, me, uh, you know, it will show Lithuania in the background. Uh, for example, you, if you're living in states, it will show your city in the background. So this is a really cool function. So for the background, you can choose either image, you know, those guru style images. Uh, if you would click on that. You know, you get options to choose the image. You can, you know, have all sorts of different options like aligning the image, stretching the image. Uh, like I've mentioned before, you can choose, you know, whether you want to have a road view or satellite view for the background, you know, the Google Maps. You can have a solid color, the gradient, and the video. We can actually, you know, we've implemented this feature that you can actually have a YouTube video playing in the background, and that's really cool. Now, so let's select, uh, let's select the background image, or for example, let's select satellite and let's road view. Let's go for the road view, so it will show my city in the background. So let's click next, and we're taking to the next step. Now, next step is the main container. This is the actually what you are going to be, you know, the actual uh, squeeze page form, uh, you know, the main container of the squeeze page. So let you can choose whether you want to have it full width or fixed width. In this example, I'm going to go for the fixed width and let's make a form 800 pixels width wide. Now padding, this is a uh, corner around, uh, if you can say that corner around the main layout. Now, all of these changes, you know, all of these parameters, we have a video course where we explain it all, where we explain how everything works, you know, what every parameter does, and you know, how you can configure the page so it looks like exactly how you want it. Now, we have a lot of options like you can make round borders, you can, you know, center the form, you can have it on the right, on the left, you can have it as, you know, on top of the page, at center of the page, we had those on, you know, we have all of these options. So I don't want to go into the technical details. I just want you to actually see, uh, you know, how this plugin works. So once we create our main container, we click next 
and now we can insert our autoresponder form where we can customize it. So for example, if you're not using AWeb or GetResponse or any other leading uh, email service marketing providers, you can, you know, if you're using, for example, uh, GVO or SendReach, you know that, you know, those autoresponders don't actually give you the ability to create web forms, you know, to create beautiful web forms. So we have this covered. If you would click enable custom styles, you can customize your web form. So, you know, it doesn't matter what autoresponder you're coming from, like Imnicamail, MailChimp, um, All Contact, EBZC, you know, all of those autoresponders. If you have a form code, you can insert it here and you can customize it so it looks beautiful. We have a pre-made button gallery of, you know, well over 150 different buttons. So, you know, we have it. So it's really easy to create forms with this. Now, step four is our drag and draw builder. So you can actually uh, grab the content. For example, you want to insert the opt-in form. You just grab it and insert it. Now, don't mind the text at the bottom. This is just for developing purposes. We have the debug, like I've said, uh, developer team is still working on this plugin, you know, very hard every single day. So we have, you know, all these weird things uh, actually going on in the funnel kit back office right now. So, but basically you can grab things like I just grabbed the opt-in form. If I want to grab an image, I can insert an image. I can insert text. Then you can choose what image you want to go for. Uh, you know, you're, we are using the, uh, the you know, how you can, we're using WordPress image editor so it's really easy to actually do things like like you know as you can see i've inserted the image if i want to go for some text i just inserted a text uh tool and you know i'm clicking this gear button and i can change text to anything i want for example funnel kit demo demonstration now we're not actually creating a page i'm just showing you as you can see, funnel kit demonstration. Now I can, you know, just grab things and, you know, delete them like this. So we have a drag and drop editor. So it makes extremely easy to create pages. Now, step five is a little cool feature that's called callouts. If we would enable callouts, we're giving some options and you can choose callouts are little SMS messages that will appear on your page. Uh, they're sort of the notifications. And, you know, I'm going to show you in live how they work and, I'm sure that you're going to love them. Now, these are, you know, insane conversion boosters. Whenever I use them, uh, I just get a lot of, you know, I just, I'm just bumping up my conversion rate. Now, step six is basically the last step of page creator. And this is just a final touch. So you can have a tracking code inserted. You can have a page name and the exit message. Now we included something very cool. We've included an unblockable exit pop-up. So, you know, all of those pop-ups out there, they are very outdated. They're using JavaScript as their base. We're using jQuery and jQuery is pretty much, it works on all browsers, which is really important. And, you know, you cannot block jQuery pop-ups. So we have it, you know, you can include it. And I'm going to show you live exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I've created a couple of pages before this presentation. So if I would go here, no, I'm just going to refresh the page. So this is one of the pages that I've built with Funnel Kit. Now, it looks really cool. At the bottom, you can see these are the call out message. They are appearing on timely basis. You know, you can customize them. You can customize the color, the font, the text, uh, you know, how often they will appear, uh, where they will appear, you know, at the top right, at the top left, at the top bottom, you know, wherever, wherever you want them, you know, they will appear. So, you know, these are little cool messages, you know, they're like SMSs and they just grab your attention. Now, this page, it took me probably like four minutes to put up. So, you know, it's extremely easy and extremely quick to build pages with Funnel Kit. Now, remember that, you know, unblockable uh, pop-up that I was talking about. So, if we would try to close the page, you know, I'm just going here to close the page. As you can see, we have a pop-up saying, wait, click the button below to, to download and download a free PDF report, how to make $100 in 10 minutes. And we have the download now button. So all of this content, you know, all of the appearance of this, uh, of this little message, you can customize it here. If we go to step, uh, you know, step six, exit message, 
we can specify the width, we can specify the background color, we can have any content that we want, we can include images, links, text, uh, URLs, well, just, you know, just about anything, it's just like a regular what you see, what you get editor. Now, we have a little checkbox, box can be closed, and that means if you click elsewhere, box just collapses, and you know, it will appear again when you try to close the page. So, you know, if you want to disable this feature, and you can, you know, check the box here that says box can be closed, and you know, it will, it will, you know, not allow the box, you know, the box will stay there, it will not be closable. So, you know, if you will click anywhere, the box will just stay and you will have to take action or leave the page. So again, this is a really cool feature and you know that exit pops work and they've been here for a while, but nowadays people don't really use them just because there are no, you know, technology and scripts to do so. So, you know, we, we walked an extra mile here and we made sure that, you know, these work, uh, you know, these work on all browsers and they, they look any, you know, anything that you want. It's like not a simple JavaScript form, you know, just that will pop up saying, you know, wait, stay on the page. So another cool feature that I want to show you, this, as you can see, I'm living in Vilnius, in Vilnius, Lithuania, and it shows my city. I didn't have to do anything. What I did, I went here to step one. I selected road view and I selected dynamic so you know what what it did funnel kit what it did it found my city by ip address and it placed city right here it will place on the right so you know your visitors will definitely see their city in the background and I, as you can see we have all you know cool, cool features like call outs we have the exit message you know everything works the same i just changed the background now instead of a headline you can say something you can use variables to actually uh, you know, increase the trust. So, for example, you can say something like how you can make $100 within 48 hours in Vilnius. You know, you can have the variable of the city by IP address in your headline. Or, for example, you can have something uh, like, you know, uh, this system is available for uh, residents of Vilnius. And you don't have to insert the city. The script, you know, Funnel Kit will do that for you. It will, you know, determine the city by IP address and it will put it in the headline. So, you know, basically you can create pages for pretty much any niche. Uh, if you're doing some local marketing, you know, this is extremely powerful because if you're working, for example, uh, for example, me in Lithuania, I've tried uh, selling SEO services for local businesses and it worked out great because, you know, instead of just having a site saying, you know, we are providing SEO services in Lithuania. What I did, I created a page with FunnelKit and it said, you know, uh, we are providing services, you know, SEO services for local businesses that, you know, in, and I have the city. So everyone who visited my page from Lithuania, they had, we're providing uh, SEO services in Klaipeda or Kaunas or Vilnius. Those are the city of Lithuania. So, you know, that automatically increases the trust. They feel that, you know, this, you know, this page and this system, they're lucky because, you know, they found something that is specific to them. So again, all of this, you know, they are crazy conversion boosters and, um, you know, Funnel Kit allows you to do that. Now, uh, as you can see, everything comes in very simple manner. Now, what we have, we have a few more tools. Uh, we have the view pages uh, where you can actually import and export pages from funnel kit so you know just imagine if you are in uh let's say empowered network team and you know you promote funnel kit to them now you can provide them the squeeze pages you know just because they join your empowered network team or you know just because you are uh you want to stay in touch with them you can create pages with funnel kit in a matter of minutes and you can export those pages by clicking the export button here and give them the, you know, uh, and you can give those pages so they can import into their funnel kit and use it for their marketing purposes. So basically, you know, this allows you to back up pages, change pages, you know, exchange them, sell them, or do whatever you want with them. So, you know, a lot of cool features is being added right now as I'm talking. So, you know, if you want to check it out for yourself to see how everything looks like, you know, just shoot me a message and I will arrange it for you. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know.